Right, all praise unto Yah by Shimei outside. Double honors to the Apostle GMS. Honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Okay, this is going to be a relatively quick video, uh, an update on the market out there. Uh, um, I had seen this article in the morning and um, I wanted to do a video on it and also too. Um, one of the heads of the camp sent me this article too, man, to corroborate with this with this article here, man. I'm going to show you that. You know, you're get you're nearing the end of your financial system, okay? And 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 you know what happens every time they one of these you know main currencies uh, uh, uh defaults, man, or or, or or falls to shit, man. In other words, man, you get it to where you know you got all kind of wars all over the place because people are trying to get food and resources and whatever, whatever, okay? Well, the point, the the, the, the you know the point. Is that your your economy is, is is are nearly done, man? And we're not just talking about the dollar. We're not just talking about the pound and all of that. We're talking about all of these global currencies, all of these diff different currencies you got out there in the world. They're gonna experience the same thing that you have out there in Venezuela, that you had out there in Greece, okay, and so on and so forth, man. All right? It's gonna be it's gonna be hella hard in 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 the city near you pretty soon, man. And here's the proof of that. So it says UN, and this is the United Nations. This is not no independent financial analytic, you know, a uh, 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 person out there, you know, doing this report. This is the this is the UN. All right, aren't they supposed to be, you know, dealing with uh, uh, issues as concerning, you know, our, our humanity and so on and so forth? Well, that's what they're doing here, man. Okay, but this is, this is getting into the stage of, of being a humanitarian disaster, as as they would say. But really, we know the elite. Banking families are in control of really what's happening out there uh, uh, um, in terms of these different currencies out there. They play both sides of the field. Okay, and that's why you had Henry Ford. And I, I mentioned this damn near every time I do one of these types of videos. That's why Henry Ford uh, uh, said what he said, man. If these people knew how the financial system worked, they'll be in uproar, man. They'll, they will, you know, they'll, they'll come up and rise up against the governments, man. Okay, that's why they make it so complicated, okay, to work out different different figures, man. To work out, you know, GDP. When you get into GDP of a country and you find out what this, you know, what goes into those different numbers, and it's like, well, hold on a minute, you're, you're telling me you couldn't find a simpler way of measuring a, a country's wealth, how much gold, gold resources they had, for instance. Okay, but see, if you did that, then you find out then that these, what these elite banking families were doing in moving the gold resources to certain places that they wanted to move to move to. Or, 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 or you would find out that the China's the Chinese they're stocking up their gold resources to to basically uh, you know have a, a, a um a contingency plan all right for when this you know economy falls down man okay so that's why they hide these different this different these different uh, uh informations man okay so they could deceive the masses that's why the scripture says in in in, in Isaiah the thirtieth chapter was it the thirtieth chapter all right gross darkness has covered the whole earth. One of the gross darknesses that has covered the whole earth is the monetary system, in that you believe in a currency that is is that the value of the current. And they've said this in in different fan, you know different uh, 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 economic based videos that the value of, of 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 any currency is the people that believe in that currency. Okay, so you believe in a currency, and therefore you be believing in that currency is the only thing that upholds the value of it, man. Right? Okay. And we're nearing a time where where a pound, you know, or a five pound note, or ten pound note, or twenty pound note, or you know, twenty dollar bill, or whatever, right? Is not, you know, it's going to be cheaper to to burn for fuel, man. Just like how you had there in, in in Germany when they went, you know, way back in the day when they had their recession, recession, it was better to just, just to burn them 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 the currency that they had there, man. Right? Okay, so it says the UN conference on trade and development rang the alarm. On the possibility of a global debt default contagion <laughs> due to the international economies over reliance on deficit spending. So uh, when you get into deficit spending, you get you, you have a government. Well, really, deficit spending is how currencies come into inception. Okay, so deficit spending is all uh, 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 um, uh, about uh, you know governments, and people think governments are, are, are federal entities, but really they're private and damn near private entities. Okay, so you have a, a a a government, all right, and um, you know you have a leader of a government, a president, and that's why it's a president I'm going to show you it's a, it's, it's, it's a corporate entity, man. Right? Okay, then the, the you know the gov the, the governor, the minister, or whatever he draws up what's known as a a, a, a bill of requests, or, or or in other words, a, a, um um 
a, a, a list of things that he's going to do. And that's how these politicians get you. Oh, we're gonna, I'm going to do this and that and this, that and third. Now, once those legislation gets passed or what he's going to do, that then goes to uh, 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 whatever central bank that you got. Okay, and that's why you have what's known as deficit spending. In other words, the government has borrowed money from an independent entity, right? Usually something like the Federal Reserve or the Bank of England, which has nothing to do with uh, uh, the Federal Reserve has nothing about it. It's federal. Okay, the Bank of England, I believe, is a, is a private entity in itself. It's a central bank. Okay, so you do all of, they do all of that. They borrow money from that separate entity and they get into debt. Okay. But see, the only way they can pay off that debt is taxes. But the taxes are based off of what? Of the money you earn. All right? And that money you earn is based off of what? Or the de deficit spending. In other words, you're never able going to be able to pay off the dollar. In other words, if you borrow the dollar and therefore owe the dollar, okay, you would have to borrow another dollar to pay off the first dollar. In other words, you are now $2 in debt. <laughs> okay? And that's how deficit spending. And that's why they call it a contagion here. And that's why you got it to where the UN... The United Nations is warning of a next global recession because deficit spending is like a cancer out here within these different con economies, man. And that, and it's and it's a rapidly, you know, growing cancer that grows exponentially. All right, just just by off of the principles I've told you there, how how they go about trying to resolve debt and so on and so forth, to where an economy has to default. Now, right now, you got it to where all of these economies they're about to default because there's no way they're going to pay off all of that debt, man. That they owe to the elite banking families because all of, all of those you know central banks are owned by the elite banking families and that's why we say you 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 people out there you peons you're slaves to the elite banking families because what is that debt that you owe you, you wanted to buy a car you wanted to buy a house okay and the scriptures talk about you you become a subject unto the person that that let you use it man okay so you become a slave unto them see you've just been transferred to this hyper uh, a technological form of enslavement that's all you have been all right and they give you two weeks of holidays a, a year and you think that you're doing all right man all right it's quite the contrary my man you're you're, you're living your hell uh, 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 so you fulfill the desires of the elite banking family if they want a bridge bill okay they'll offer you a house okay you buy a house but you're gonna pay that house off you're gonna go build a bridge <laughs> Okay, they want you to kill uh, 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 people out there in, in some uh, a foreign entity, out some foreign country out there. Okay, then they'll offer you something that you want. But in order to pay that that that, that off, you're gonna be a slave unto them and do their bidding, man. That's uh, that's that's why we know this man is a deceiver, man. Okay, because he's not straight up about what he's doing, man. Okay, says so the next econ next economic crash, maybe the last warns trade economists of the United St United Nations, right, cautioning. Right, that the next global recession could quickly get out of control, plun plunging the world into an economic depression and resulting in a post-apocalyptic -ap failing of major governments as well as world's bond market teeters right on the precipice, you know, the precipice right of a full-on meltdown, man. <laughs> so you know, I like this statement here: post-apocalyptic. Right, a uh, 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 falling of major governments, man, because that that yields to uh, that yields to a need for a solution, right, for all of these global catastrophe, man. Okay, and don't be surprised if you see stuff because now this is the UN. It's not no econ e e economist now. This is the UN. Don't 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 marvel not if this becomes like a major thing within the you know within mainstream media and, and news. All right, to where they blow it up, to where. You know, once, once, what, once, you know, they, they allow this uh, crash to happen, all right. But they present the uh, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, has spoken about within the scriptures as the solution towards that. Okay, and don't think the German strength is going to help you out there with, with that because here, here it is: the Deutsche Deutsche Bank shares plummet to record low as market rules out bailout, man. All right, so he says shares in Germany's largest bank. Now here it is. Germany is like one of the strongest economies you got out there. You got manufacturing, all kind. Of, they're the wisest of Esau, man. Okay, they're the wisest of Esau when it comes to technological advancements. They can make money. <laughs> they can make money like like a, a, a like a slug makes slime, man. Okay, they can make you know they can make all kind of money. Their their economy is supposed to be one of the, the strong one of the stronger economies. It's not the, necessarily the strongest. Okay. But it's it's one of the, the top economies that you got. I think it's top top three economies, man. And you got it to where their largest banks have hit uh, rock bottom on Mondays, as Chancellor uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel reportedly refused to provide Deutsche Bank state aid in in, a, in its legal battle with the United States uh, Department of Justice. Deutsche shares fell 
as much of uh, as much as six percent right to ten uh, uh, ten point six uh, euros right in Monday trading right the worst performance since 1992 right it says the banks the bank has lost 52 percent of its value since January and over 56 percent of its last in, in the last in the last 12 months all right so they're getting broke man they're getting poor man okay it says earnings per share fell as as, as, as much as six dollars man all right so there's a lot of numbers in there but god damn it 52 percent since january since january all right and it says 56 percent in the last 12 months and you got it to where they say it's a it's, it's you got a global uh, a recession right and that, that that may trigger sovereign debt defaults a, a, a contagion and they're calling it a post-apocalyptic or failing of major major governments not these little <laughs> not these little nations we're talking about the big nations all right and, and and as a solution to that, as a is as a direct result of that, they, and that's why you got it to where the UN UN is is coming in there because the UN is the entity of the beast, man. All right, and they're gonna be hey, the UN is gonna be a, a I believe the UN is gonna be a major factor in issuing out that mark of the beast, man, because the UN is always involved in spreading diseases. All right, out out there, the UN and the Red Cross and so on and so forth. Those are all entities that uh, 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 that push forth. Uh, 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 the agenda of the beast, man, on a military uh, on a military scale. Now, obviously, you got the American uh, uh, government that has got its own army. You got the EU, and they got their own different armies. You know, provided what countries countries they're in. Okay, but you also got the UN. <laughs> now, the UN really actually is governed by the by the United States. <laughs> okay, and, and, and a lot of the influence that the Europeans got go under is off the the influence of of, of Babylon and America. Okay. All right, so the UN, hey, it's gonna, make, I believe it will play a major part in in issuing out that that mark of the beast, man. Here's the solution: we're gonna offer you humanitarian aid, all right, by way of the UN. Okay, here's the chip. This is how you're gonna survive this post-apocalyptic. Where's the, where's the phrase here? Post-apocalyptic failing of major governments, and you can survive now, man. All right, no, we're standing after that. You're gonna have it to where the missiles are gonna be issued out, man, because mark of the beast is on the table now. Okay, now you got now now you got dudes out there like a uh, uh, blue. He, he would have taken the cheap because he's a he's as he's as you know not you know I was gonna say he's he's weak, but really is you gotta look at look at it for what it is. The Maasai hasn't given him the spirit of faith, man. Okay, and and, and the reason I I, I changed uh, um the word I, 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 there is 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 that I, I, um if I had said he's weak, well that makes that that implies that I'm strong, but really it's not that. <laughs> the most high, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, Rathas that I'll have the faith in that day, right? In 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 in, in, in um in a day where it's called um uh uh a uh, uh, day of temptation. I think the wording slips my mind, man. Right? Okay, right? Basically, where where everybody's you know faith is gonna be tested, man. Especially when that mark of the beast is out, when they're calling it the post the post apocalyptic uh, 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 falling of governments, man. Okay. So hey, Yah Bashim Yahsha, I have the faith to and, and you brothers of the elect, okay, that you, you have the you have the strength to, to overcome uh, in that time. It says so let me finish up a little bit on this. And it says Markel also declined right to provide help to the Deutsche Bank in this legal battle battle uh, with the um, uh, defense uh, 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 what is it defense what is it was what is it? the DLJ okay and it says and and the frankfurt based lender may be fined up to 14 billion over its mortgage backed securities businesses before the uh, uh, uh before the 2008 global crisis now that's important because we're going to get into that in this article and it says and the magazine the magazine report and it says the article said markel made her views clear in the talks with the deutsche bank ceo okay so you got it to where one of the major banks out there in germany which is supposed to be a stable economy they they're making all kind of losses, man. Major losses, all right. In terms of their shares, you know their share values, all right. So um, so let's go go back to this. And it says in the wake of the 2008 economic collapse, countries around the world forced their economies afloat by flooding the market with cheap money by artificially lowering their interest rates to to near zero. And that's what you got out here in England. I think it's about 0 0.025. No, no, it's 0 0.25. So lucky. It's 0.25 uh, interest rate. Okay, all right. So you got a lot of people borrowing money very cheap. My right? mortgages is cheap and all of that. Okay, and it says an uh, uh, it says an unprecedented rate uh, rate point 
at which benchmark rates have remained for nearly eight years and says alarm bells have been ringing over the explosion of corporate debt levels in emerging economies which exceed 25 trillion damaging uh, uh, damaging uh, flexionary uh, spirals cannot be ruled out okay uh, the, the report remarks it says in an event of an economic slowdown the experts caution that massive debts held by bondholders may not be redeemed right forcing whole countries to default okay all right so uh, 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 uh good luck selling your t-shirts nate when you have no dollar to sell them with man but see that guy's that guy's that guy's such a weasel he'll find a way to to to, to weasel jake out of their money man all right uh, 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 and, it, and it's uh, and and um pretty much with this with this a uh, uh, statement here it's important to remember when when they hit that rock bottom man which they're coming back into that time we're gonna they're gonna hit that rock bottom again in 2008 when you had that economic collapse Hey, guess what went on, on online, man? You had it to where the elders and a brother uh, 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 had had uh, pointed that out. You know, that's not my own finding. A brother had pointed this out. Okay, all right. So he had he had pointed out the fact that this great economic collapse that you had in 2008. Well, you weren't ready. Really, it's like damn near like uh, uh, um, the end of the world in 2000. 2000, man. The the the, 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 the men of the law weren't sealed, man. Okay, so now this time, you, hey, the elder, the elder apostle Taha said the best one. He said, "Look, it, you know, he feels like down there, you know, because you know it's been, you know, it's been eight years, you know, eight years, you know, like seven, eight years, man, which is spiritual in itself, man, right? Like seven, eight years since this thing was, you know, started being pushed out major on YouTube. Okay, you can see some of the classic videos out there. All right, it's been like eight, seven, eight years since since that that been done." And but really, when that when that happened, that was in that 2008 economic collapse, man. All right. So in, in all of that time, the more size, you know, stopped that, you no, know, that economic slowdown and slow down the market and chip being issued out on, on a major scale because why? Because the elect wasn't still yet. But now so you see all of the works that the brothers have been pushing forth, man. All right. Uh, uh, by by the by way of uh, uh, um, the elders of GMS. Okay. You had it, you, you got it to where brothers woke up to this truth. And, and you know I believe it too, man. It, hey, the the elects, it pretty much probably, probably gonna be sealed, man. Because the videos is up there, man. Hey, two videos. All right, now we are we're small numbers, you know, in terms of in terms of quantity. But if we, you know, Nate Nate Nate's Nate's flunk is put up, you know, a whole camp of you know 50, 50 guys put up one video, maybe one month, man. All right, but you might have a camp, a relatively small, you know, a relatively big camp in our regards might have twenty dudes, okay. That's 44, you know, that's a minimum of 44 videos a week, man. Are you telling me people are not watching this, man? Okay? So you have one camp, and it's, you know, it's it, and it's a large uh, 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 large camp by, by our standards, all right? And it's a large camp by our standards, and it's got 20 dudes, okay? Let me just get the, the old calculator, all right? It's got 20 dudes, all right? All right, so 20, right, times 2 gives you 40, 40 you know, uh, gives you 40. So, like, I was multiplying 20... <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying anyway. Okay, so that's one week. You times that through by what? what is that 57 weeks in a in a year? That's 2,000 2,280 videos. Okay, I forget how much weeks are in a year, uh, uh, but let's say it's 50 weeks in a year. That's 2,000 video videos, man. And that's just one, you know, relatively large camp. But that's one camp. You you telling me these people haven't seen the works that the Mosai has been doing, man? And that's how you know. It, just like how it says in Acts, in the Book of Acts, if this thing was of men, it will come to naught. Hey, that's how you know this thing is of your heart by Shimei al Shai, man. All right? How he's, you know, got this word coming out heavy, man. Okay, brothers working out, you know, all over the place. And you really don't know how much brothers have woke up to this thing. Because, hey, the most I had it to where, you know, you got teachers out there. Right? But, hey, what about the, the guys that are just going to listen, man? You what about the secret disciples, man? Okay? All right? So, it says, a large, econ large e emerging economies, including Brazil, Russia, and uh, South, I like how they call Russia an emerging economy, quite the contrary. But nevertheless, uh, uh, South Africa may be the worst hit in in an event of the economic slowdown. Well, that's just not correct. That's just not right because that's that's the okay. Brazil is going to be hit. Russia is going to be hit in South Africa. But wait, hold on a minute. What about America? America one got one of the most unstable business models in terms of uh, establishing a country that's ever been seen. Their whole eighty percent of their GDP. All right, comes from military sales. You think people are gonna be selling? You know, how much? How much guns can you really sell, man? I mean, I suppose you know you you can do as long as these people, or as long as you create enough terror to where these people buy buy those those uh, those weaponry, man. 
And that's what Esau does. He goes out there, creates all kind of havoc, creates Daesh, which was ISIS. Okay, you know, that's that's all about corporate branding there. If you know anything about marketing, then you know, hey, you know, the ISIS thing, the I, and then he changed the ISO. That's just corporate branding, man. <laughs> all right? <laughs> it's just corporate branding, man. So they had to change the name after a while. Maybe, you know, maybe there was some, some copyright infringement that they had infringed upon. But nevertheless, not to digress too much, they created that. And now you got it to where all of these Syrians you got to buy. Was it the Syrians? Not the Syrians, but you know the American supporters out there, like Turkey and all of that, right? Part of the NATO's they got to buy weaponry off of America to to to, to stop you know ISIS and Daesh or whatever you want to call them, right? Which was incepted by the same Americans that they're buying the weapons off of. Okay, so hey, so it's all one big cyclic uh, 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 thing that you know Esau plays with. He says, nevertheless. Our major Western economies may also feel the squeeze, and it's not going to be a squeeze, man. Okay, now and that's what you—that's what you—that's what you find with Esau sometimes. He gives you the big, you know, big, big, you know, a uh, 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 big, uh, big title, which is really the truth, and then you have you, you know, you know, put a, a, a hope in there, which is which is really null and void, man. Okay, they said here, they said here, major emerging economies. Right, will feel the worst. Say, well, what about the the Deutsche Bank, man? They're feeling this. They're feeling the squeeze now. <laughs> they're feeling the squeeze now, man. All right. Uh, 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 you know, based off of uh, what happened out there in 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 two thousand eight. You know, you know now now you got to wait. You know, Markel not 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 bailing them out. All right, because she's probably underneath. You know, we know she's under orders from the elite banking families. So they could that could ricochet all into these different economies you got out here, man. So pretty much, you know, you get the gist of what I was trying to say. Hopefully, I didn't, you know, I, you know, I do my best with the economy, but it does, you know, it does melt the melt the brain at times, man. I, I, um, you know, cause hey, cause Esau set it up like that, okay? It, it, so you wouldn't get into it, so 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 you wouldn't understand how fucked up it is, man. But pretty much, I'm, you know, hopefully that was of uh, edification. I'm gonna say, oh praise unto Yahweh, Shimei Shai, double honesty, apostles of GMS. All right. We bring out this word persistently, you know, videos upon videos. The water y'all by Shimmy outside for that because, hey, if it wasn't for the men of the Lord, man, we wouldn't have no fathers to raise up, to raise us up, man, spiritual fathers, man. Okay? A lot of guys don't, a lot of guys, a lot of guys really, they come into this thing, they get built up like men, all right? And they forget who built them up like men, okay? It's the men of the Lord, the Lord, Lord, uh, men of the Lord, Lord put the spirit upon those men to, to, to uh, 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 to build you up like that, man. Okay, to be who you, you know, who, who you're so happy, who you're so proud to be right now. You go, that's why dudes fall off, man. Get too proud, man. You think you're the, you're the show stopper now. Okay, but you know, that's why we're offering double honest, man. And with that, you know, I'm gonna say double honesty, apostles of GMS, honesty, brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity, shall one.